Hello everyone, this is Rakesh Kapilas and I welcome you all in my today's class and I hope that you all are fit and fine at your homes. So today we will discuss class 11's and the lesson name is Bills of Exchange and uh, before moving further let me just give a small recapitulation what we have done in our previous lectures. In previous lectures we have gone through what is bills of exchange, what is promissory note and uh, what is the difference between these two types of negotiable instruments and what are the different types of uh, treatments regarding bills of exchange. When a person draw the bill and another person accept the bill then there may be three types of three different types of treatment of this bill the very first we have gone through in a previous video when the drawer draw the bill draw accept the bill and draw retain that bill, keep that bill with himself or herself up to due date and he personally present the bill in front of drawing and drawing make the payment. Now today we will discuss the next coming treatments of these bills. So this is the next that when the bill is endorsed to third party before due date. Suppose one person is selling the goods, another is purchasing, seller is drawing the bill, the purchaser or drawing is accepting the bill, but before due date, as this is a negotiable instrument, so drawer can endorse this bill in favor of third party. As the drawer have to get this amount from drawing, it may be possible that drawer have to pay certain amount to someone third party so in that case it will be really convenient for the drawer that in spite of making the payment to that third person that creditor to whom the drawer have to make the payment he can endorse the bill which was accepted by the drawing that is the bill endorsed to third party before due date what may be the different types of uh, general transaction in this case I have explained this we will discuss one by one here I have taken what entries you have to make in the books of draw and on the this part, part what entry the drawer will make the very first when the drawer will make the sale and drawer will make the purchase drawing debit to sales purchase amount debit to drawer this entry will remain same whatever may be the treatment of this bill. The second, when the bill is drawn by the drawer and it is accepted by the drawing, entry, bills receivable account debit to drawing, drawer account debit to bills payable, being will drawn, being will accepted. These two entries will remain same in all the cases, whatever this bill is being retained or kept by the drawer up to due date or whatever it is being endorsed to anyone or any other treatment may be there. So now suppose if before due date this bill is being uh, before moving, moving further let me tell you these two entries will be same so no need to repeat that in all the cases once you have understood you can write the same entries. So suppose before due date this bill is being endorsed to any of the third person by drawer, then the entry will be suppose that third person is Z. Then Z debit to bills receivable. Z means the person to whom the drawer is going to endorse the bill, debit to bills receivable. And there will be no entry in the books of drawing before due date. Once he accepted the bill, he will not make any entry before due date. 
whatever treatment of the spill is being made by the drawer. Then on due date, now the Z third party will go to the drawing and he will bracket the bill. And suppose on that due date, the Y make the payment, means drawing make the payment to third person. Then drawing will make the entry bills payable account debit to cash. He will make the payment. While there will be no entry in the case of draw. Why? Because he will not get the payment. Payment will be received by Z. Bills payable account effort to cash and no entry in case of draw. This is the treatment where the bill is being endorsed to third party. Now, one more treatment we can do in this case. What is that? Suppose this bill is being, suppose if this bill is being discounted from the bank, जो draw है उसने due date से पहले इस bill को bank से discount करा दिया। What is the meaning of discounting of the bill? Suppose this bill is of one thousand rupees. So and uh, the drawer is in the need of money at the most earlier. उसको पैसे की बहुत जरूरत है and he can not wait till the due date. Suppose ये bill जो था first January को लिखा गया and it was for four months. First February, first March, first April, first May. First May plus three days of the grace, fourth of the May. The due date for this is fourth May. So as this bill is written by the drawer and it is accepted by the drawing, he cannot wait. The drawer cannot wait for the due date. Then one more option available for drawer as he was endorsing this bill to the third party. He can discount the bill. He will give this bill to the bank and bank will just charge nominal charges. He will deduct certain discounting charges and rest of the amount will be given to the drawer. Now on due date, bank will present this bill in front of drawing and Droy will make the payment to bank. So now two entries will be same when the sale will be there, purchase will be there as in earlier cases. When the bill will be drawn, bill will be accepted, same entries. Now the third entry in this case when this bill will be discounted from the bank and the entry in that case will be bank account debit. Discount account debit to bills receivable. Bank account debit, discount account debit to bills receivable. And there will be no entry in the books of drawing because he will not bother about anything before due date. Suppose this bill was of, of 1000 rupees and bank has charges. 50 rupees for the discount, discounting charges, then entry will be 950, discount charges 50 and two bills receivable 10,000. Now on due date, the bank will approach to the drawing and drawing will make the payment and now the no entry in case of draw because he is not going to get the amount of this bill. But in case of drawing, the entry will be when he will make the payment to bank, the entry will be bills payable account debit to cash being bill paid. Now let me tell you one thing, whenever the drawing will make the payment, chahe wo payment bank ko kar raha hai, third party ko kar raha hai, or it will be uh, payment made to the draw, he will make the same entry, BP to cash, BP to cash, bill payable account debit to cash, bill payable account debit to cash. Okay, this was the third case when the bill is being discounted by the drawer before due date and on due date this bill is being paid by the drawing and the amount is being received by bank. So these are the three types of situations. One more situation was there 
that was retiring the bill under rebate but this time from uh, the, this 2020-21 academic year CBSC has deleted this portion so now only you will deal with these three types of situations when the bill is retained by the drawer up to due date when the bill is being endorsed by the drawer in favor of third party and the third and last when this bill is being discounted by the drawer before due date from bank so this is all about the situations where the drawing is making the payment on due date now in the next of the videos we will discuss the negative aspect of these cases means on due date when the drawing will not make the payment which is called dishonor of the bill thank you very much